it's crazy fan girl shiny hope you guys are having an amazing day so today we are continuing with the episodes of moon knight episode three uh the friendly type i have been looking at my comments and people have been saying um and giving me info about the suit that i had questions about last week which was the mr knight sort of um, suit, um, sort of like the brawler one that Steven was as, which was very cool, but a lot of people are saying that there might be a third personality, which will eventually become Mr. Knight. Um, I don't know anything about that, so I am going in blind. Thank you for the people who gave me that information, because it's very interesting. I do want to say I am so sorry if this reaction does come out. I'm filming it on the night it releases. It's currently five o'clock, it's out, but um, tomorrow I have a job interview and I want to be prepared as much as possible. However, I know that editing does take a lot of my time, so I might be pushing the editing to tomorrow, which means the reaction will be out tomorrow whenever this comes out. Life is getting in the way at the moment, but I do need to do an update video, so I'll probably need to do that in the next couple of days anyway. Um, so keep an eye on that, um, if it does come out. Um, I'm very jumbled, guys. It's been a very busy few weeks um so i apologize and even for the lack of content i really am so sorry um but yeah let's jump straight into this enough of that let's jump straight into moon knight um because i'm super excited i know you guys are excited so let's re let's watch this <laughs> before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows movies and video games so without further ado let's jump right into it Oh, did they actually film in Egypt? Oh, that's sick. What an experience that would have been if they did do it in Egypt. Oh. Oh, whoa, Mark. Hello. Oh! Ooh! I forgot that Mark has military training. Ew. Oh! Nice shots, very good pacing in the fights. Oh! I need to wipe my nose, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, the reflection. Oh. Oh, now what's happening with Mark? Oh god, the reflection's there. Oh! No! Oh! <gasps> oh, is it the third personality that we just spoke about? Don't listen to him! Country is cool, but like, very extreme. Oh, shit! Ooh, what a shot. Got you. Oh. Did you just ant man this shit? What? Oh. Aren't you coming with? <laughs> what the hell? So cool. <laughs> Steven. That's so cute. I love you, Steven. Oh, so there's multiple avatars. Cool. Mm. Oh. I'm guessing those are like the main gods. Or the main avatars. Oh! I was banished for not abandoning humanity unlike the rest of you. Oh, wow. Oh! What? Is it not going to be Arthur Harrow? Or is it? Oh! This is so interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Are you? Double J. 
Chase. Oh. No matter how dangerous it is, if you would just listen for a second. He asked for nothing more than thanks. This man knows me. That's weird though. Can't they see things? I would thought that, that they would be able to see like what he's done before though. What Harrow's been doing all this time. Maybe not. One man, a Magi named Sentry. He was tasked with reporting the location of the two in case the gods ever changed their minds and decided to show mercy. Find them the sarcophagus and you'll find 13 of them. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? The sarcophagus was stolen and sold in the black market. You might want to start there. Mm hmm. Sort of his expertise. And he could get his wifey to help him as well. Oh, come on, Mark. That's not sus at all. Ah, there she is. Oh. Conjure's a little shit. I don't trust him either. Oh, look at- I'm sorry! My thirst trap is coming out, but holy shit does us guys like look good. I'm just gonna say that. Anyway. Oh no! Mark! It's so cute! Stop it! I understand why. He's trying to protect her and, you know, make sure she he doesn't get close. Oh, you can see the pain on her face. I hate that. When you get pushed away. Ugh. Well, to see you, after my trip, I'll show you to the uh, Excuse me for a moment. Madripoor? Like doesn't look familiar, but I'm guessing he did stay in Madripoor. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Mark's like, nah, boy. Step back. He's praying. Sorry. <laughs> He's praying. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Ooh, Mark. No. Jesus, the cinematography in this show is so good. Oh no, Harrow! God damn it, dude! Oh! Oh, Mark! He doesn't want to do it, poor baby. <gasps> oh no! Oh! <laughs> so cool! Oh! 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 transition hell yeah oh my god oh oh um hello oh um layla hello oh oh this is so good oh no oh no don't you freaking dare Dude, that was amazing! Oh my god! Mark. Why does Oscar look so good? Sorry. And it's like I've not known you at all. Yeah. You haven't. Mark. I mean. 
Layla. You're so mean, Mark! I know why you're doing it to protect her, but don't be a douche. Steve, what the hell, dude? Oscar Isaac! He better win some fucking awards for this show. It they came up with a way to get about using the sun and the stars. But it's easy, isn't it? Whoa! Oh, constellations. Yeah. We should be able to triangulate the stars into coordinates, right? Just... That's amazing! Oh my god, that one shot! Actually, I remember every night. Oh, can't you? Can't you? I can turn back the night sky. How? It will come at a cost, and I cannot do it alone. What's the cost? When the gods imprison me, tell me, Mark. Oh! Wait, 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 what? Hold on. Mark to free me. Oh. I don't think Mark will do that, but I'll talk about it after. Whoa! Oh, it's like a time lapse. Oh. oh, interesting. Oh. Mark. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh. I was about to say, are they working with him? Oh my god. But no. Wait, so... Hold on, I'm curious. Does that mean if the other gods have, like, are in stone, does that mean he, that they did cr crime story? I'm not sure, because I don't know the mythology of this world of Moon Knight. So it's like, you know, like how there are statues of, like, Iris and all that stuff. Like, is there... And the other gods, I can't remember their names. But, you know, like, does that mean that all of them were locked away in stone? Or does it just mean that it's just him? And they just died and then they were- or ascended or whatever. And it's just their avatars on Earth. I guess that's what it might be. Anyway, sorry. Is he gonna destroy it? I feel like he is. He's not gonna break it. Oh! Damn! Interesting! Oh, in, in memory of Gaspard Uleil? Let me check. Oh my god! That's why he was- Oh my god, that actor! I remember that coming out and people just being like in shock. Yeah, I remember that being- that's why he was familiar! Um, and that actor who was in that section with the red thing. Oh, bless. Poor thing. But holy shit, dude, this episode was absolutely fantastic. Like, picking- the pacing in these episodes are very well done, especially because they are, like, proper 50-minute episodes. Um, well, probably, like, 45 ep minutes if you'd, like, take away the credits and stuff. But they're still fantastic episodes, all of them. They all feel like- like, just- very well paced, very well written. The cinematography is beautiful. I love that shot when it's sort of like that, I don't know what it's called, but it had like that casing and then the tomb was in there. And then it was like on an angle, it was an angle mid, uh, I think it was a mid, I'm trying to remember all my cues from cinema doing my, my film unit just a couple of months ago. Um, I think it was a, I think it's a mid shot. I can't remember what it's called, but it was like Oscar, and then it would like pan to um, Layla. So good, like like I don't know. It's just so good, and also the colors, guys. The fucking colors. Oh my god! Like this is why in the mood. Like I know it's such a minor detail, but like I a lot of people discuss it, and even I agree. Like with Infinity War and even um, Endgame, like. 
Like, the black point and the colors are a little bit meh meh. But, um, that's why with shows like this, I want... Um, going to the story, let's talk about Layla and Mark. That relationship seems very... Like, it's very tense, and there's a lot of tension between these two characters. But also, there's a lot of chemistry between Oscar Isaac and the female actress. I don't know her name, so I'm just going to say Layla um, as her character name. But such great chemistry between them, and you can feel like there's this history between them. Um, And there's a lot of care and love for each other there, but it's still hindered by that tension and this, like, that, obviously, the cut that... Mark made with Layla, um, you can feel it, but you can also feel his, like, care for her. Also, Oscar Isaac, I know people are just gonna be like, acting, and just like, it's acting, it's part of the job, but Oscar Isaac, in this episode, especially switching between Steven and himself, but also this third personality that possibly is there, and I'm guessing we'll see in the next three episodes, maybe, um, is very good. And even that, how he, like, was Mark, and then popped into Steven, and Steven was like, Thanks, mate. And just like, oh, so good. Um, And Stephen is so wholesome. I was also going to say, possibly, what if Stephen and Layla become a thing? Because they actually seem a lot more compatible than Mark and Layla at this point in time. Or at least they become good friends. Because, like, I don't know, the way that... Or they be... Yeah, I feel like maybe friends instead of romance. Because I feel the romance and the chemistry is, like, very hot between Layla and Mark. Um, but going back to Steven and her, it seems like they can get on that same level in terms of, like, um, talking about, like, um, uh, archaeology and, like, history of Egypt and all these different, like, hieroglyphics, etc. Um, it's because that's Steven's, like, that's his things. Mark doesn't know anything about that. He's the military man. Steven is the guy who knows. He's very intelligent. And that's what I love. That's what I was talking about before. Like, I like how, yes, he's a bit of a dweeb. He's not a slob, but he's like, he, he doesn't take full care of himself. He He's so intelligent. Like, that's what I love instead of him just being full out dweeb and just being like a, like not good enough or like not cool enough like Mark. He's also very intelligent and has his um, set of skills that he's very good at. Um, and I love that. And Konshu, hmm, um, I will say, I never got to say this before, I don't really think the voice actor matches the chaos that should be Konshu, because I know he's like very chaotic and you know, but it's such an elegant voice. For such a character, it's cool, but it's like, mm, it seems a little bit mismatched, but um, I'm okay with it. It's just a small minor detail. Um, Other than that, he, I have a mixture of feelings about him, because he does seem to like take advantage of obviously the Avatar who is like in his place. Um, and certain things that he says as well, it's just like, eh, I don't really agree with you. Um, And even you can tell that Mark is not entirely comfortable with that stuff, um, which is really sad because you can tell like he wants to say it. And even he was saying, I'm not well. And it's just so heartbreaking. It's like, oh my God, dude, like I want to give you a cuddle. But like, yeah, I just like all of that. I want to unpack that more. So I hope we get like an episode talking about that and Mark sort of like, um, opening up about that. That would be really interesting. Harrow is a very interesting character because it's like, I get that you were taken advantage of by Konshu, but you drain life from all these people in the name of Amit, and you think that's fine? Like, no, I don't think that's okay. Especially because, and I didn't, I don't think I put this in the cut for my reaction because, again, there was lots of things that went wrong, which I'm annoyed about. My computer's been acting weird. I need to buy a new one. Um, Hence, I need to get a job. (laughs) But anyway, um, yeah, with the baby um, metaphor that was used last episode, even I was thinking, like, how can you kill a child before it's done it? Because you don't know what else is going to do in its life, but also what leads up to it, but also if it can possibly change their path. It's not set in stone. Um, So... What? Yeah, it just didn't, like, it was like, mm, that's a little bit weird um, that you're willing to kill a child um, or even just anyone. Like, even that old lady at the beginning of the series in episode one. And I can't believe we're halfway. We're at the halfway point already. And just, I'm absolutely loving it. I hope, because I know that Oscar Isaac is not on contract for Moon Knight. 
Please, sir, please come back and do another season or do something with Moon Knight in the, in the movies with Blade and with other people. Like, please. Like, because you're fantastic and I love it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Moon Knight. Episode 3, The Friendly Type. It's an interesting episode. Again, I think episode two is still one of my favorites. It was so good, um, but this is getting, it's really good in terms of the action. This one was really good, and also the character development between Layla and Mark, and even with Steven. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because otherwise I'll be here forever and I need to go prep for my interview, so. <sighs> so again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Casey Pingle, out. <laughs>